Hi, I'm Tom Hinton, author of 10,000 Days. One of my most requested topics for speeches and workshops is life balance. And when you consider the major upheavals during the past five years that have rocked the workplace, it's not surprising that companies are eager to strengthen their ties with employees, rejuvenate customer loyalty programs, and foster an innovative spirit in the workplace. There's no question that creating a high energy workplace is a top priority of every executive in business, government, and the nonprofit sector. And a big part of constructing a high energy workplace is helping people create meaningful life balance. While senior management understands the value and importance of what their people contribute to the bottom line, getting management engaged in building relationships with their employees and customers is quite frankly a real challenge. The fact is your business is only as good as the people you employ. My experience working with hundreds of companies, associations, and government agencies has been this. The only organic way to grow your business, and I'm talking about your revenues, your profits, and building customer loyalty is through your customers. And the key to creating customer loyalty is through your people. So it makes sense to not only take care of your people, because they're your greatest asset, but also to understand what life balance is all about and institute programs and policies that foster life balance. Now, let me just say this. Forget the term work-life balance, because frankly, work is part of life. And in this era of global competition, it's a growing part of what everyone does. But having said that, work or career is only one of the eight key elements on the wheel of life that dominates just about everything we do on a daily basis. If you look at this diagram of the wheel of life that was developed by the 10,000 Days Foundation, you can see all eight elements. So when it comes to life balance, what I teach senior managers are two simple rules. Number one, to create a high energy workplace, you need to respect your employees, not as employees, but as people. So this requires a mind shift because too many managers refer to their people as employees or human resources. And frankly, that terminology is not only outdated, it diminishes the worth and talent of your greatest asset, your people. So drop the term employee and start referring to your people as people. Here's what's at stake. When you respect your people, they in turn will respect your organization, its mission, its vision, and its customers. They'll take ownership of the customer relationships that are so critical to your organization's success and growth. And your people will be the catalyst for innovation, business development, and cost savings. Finally, remember that people want to be viewed from a holistic perspective. That is, they want to be respected as a total human being, not just an employee who shows up from eight to five and does what's in their job description. Certainly, your people are capable of doing much more than that. And when you think about it, if you're the CEO or a senior executive in your organization, you want much more out of your people than just an eight to five attitude, right? So, cultivating an environment and attitude for respecting your people is the first rule for creating life balance and crafting a high energy workplace. Secondly, you need to help your people find their passion in the workplace. 
My speaker colleague and friend Barb Yeager puts it this way, people are going to be most productive and happiest when they're doing what they love to do. And that's why we always conduct an assessment when we work with clients on life balance or employee engagement. To ask your people, what do you love to do? And how do you feel you can really contribute your talents to this organization and make a difference? So when it comes to life balance and helping your people develop a passion for their work, a sense of fulfillment, value, and joy in doing what they love to do at work, these are two steps you can put to work on Monday morning to create dynamic new outcomes for your business. I'm Tom Hinton, and I look forward to helping you create life balance for your people.